Hi guys, Yaka here. So I will go through a very strong deck at the moment. It's not something, if you just look at the general stats, not something where you will see that in the highest tiers in some of the uh, deck tracking websites that you, that you have available. But if you sort through those websites on pure legend play, uh, then it's at the very top of uh, the first tier where you see all the best decks, um, and that's the the Highlander uh, Hunter. Um, so that, this actually has the highest win rate in Legend. Um, there is one challenge with the the deck. It has one significant weakness. One deck it's really poor against, and that is the deck that is most popular at all right now on the ladder. So that's a significant drawback for the deck. Uh, and that's of course the Tempo Demon Hunter. Um, and I've been having a multitude of challenges trying to deal with it. And I tried to tech the deck against it. Uh, and we'll go through that in a moment. Uh, however, I, I do see the deck if you are participating in tournaments. It's a very strong deck. You can uh, you can ban your opponent's Demon Hunter, and this is a well-versed deck against almost any other deck. Um, I haven't played it a lot, uh, but it feels really powerful when you do play it. It's just uh, you you can't. Uh, keep up with the sheer tempo that the Demon Hunter pushes uh, on the board and to your face. But other than that, it's actually really great. Um, to have a look on this Highlander list. For the Mulligan, in the starting phase, what you want to do is that you always want to try and see if you can get your Blazing uh, Battle Mage, your Dwarven Sharpshooter. Um, and your Bone Shoe Brawler and Sephiroth. Um, you also want to have your fairy, fairy Dragon because many times what you'll see over the course of the games is that you will drop the Fairy Dragon, your opponent might drop a threat, but then you have your Storm Hammer and you have a dragon on the board and you won't use up your charge. And your opponent, for instance, if you're against the rogue, you won't be able, your opponent won't be able to backstab the Fairy Dragon and then develop another threat on the board or combo with some other specific like the evil miscreant and stuff like that. So this is the general mulligan guideline. If you're against both rogues but especially demon hunters you also want, I checked in a, an acidic swamp boost because there there are some some different, this is the war blades, that's a uh, the war blades uh, then that's a really good tech and you want to have that instead of your opponent dropping a 5 mana, 3 damage, 4 charge weapon. Um, then the Acidic Swamp Boost is definitely good at dealing with that. Or an early Umbral, umbral Wing. Um, so that's a definitely also a keep. And one of your only healing uh, cards in the deck is the is Zephyrus. I have to be really careful about using him. You can't just drop him for tempo in the early early turns. But you also need to have some of the early game in order to manage the Demon Hunters. Um, if you do have your early game sorted, like you already have a 1-drop, uh, maybe not a 2-drop, but if you do have a 1-drop, you can choose to keep your Desert Spear. The win rate is really high um, when you do keep uh, the Desert Spear in the Mulligan. So that's uh, my suggestions for the Mulligan Guide. And of course there are a little bit different things uh, contingent of the matchups. If you're against classes where there's no weapons, if you have other two drops uh, in your Mulligan, just throw back, uh, throw back the Acidic Swamp Ooze in order to try and get something else. Um, but as I mentioned, the deck is, is really powerful. Uh, you'll get a link of, uh, of, um, for the deck, of course. Um, and I will go through some gameplay with you guys, uh, and you can see how that actually shapes up. You will see two matches. I'm trying to keep the videos a little bit short, um, but I think it deserves to see. You, you deserve to see how uh, horrendous <laughs> the deck actually performs against the Demon Hunter. So I'll include a a a video about 
that specific match and against another opponent as well. But let's head on into the gameplay. Okay. So this is the worst, worst matchup for the deck. Um, he needs to get a bad start and then he needs to get a good one. First off, I want to keep my low cost cards. I really need to hit, uh, hit the, the board running. Right, Diving Griffin is good because I really didn't want to draw that one off the top. And I want the Guardian Orc Merchant to, to have a target. Just like that. I would really like to get another one drop. I mm, guess I can use the mana, the full mana now, and then I'll do an evaluation afterwards. Cephas is really going to be important in this match. Swing slice. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting rid of the satyr, and I want to leave stuff on the board. You can do the trades and stuff, but I really need to get rid of some damage. No board development. That's really good. So he might just want to go face. That's kind of uh, a little bit iffy. That's pretty good. Good. The ooze, I can use that for later. I really want to just develop the board right now. Sorry about that. I don't know why I had that in my mind that it was at one health. Of course, he traded in the Sigil Runner. We'll contest that, even though... I'm just a little... Like each and every Demon Hunter match, I'm just a little bit behind. But then he drops Kane Sun Fury. That's... Some kind of indication that he doesn't really have a perfect hand or anything. Hammer to clear off the 2 2 and this one. I will leave two mana left, so I'll do the tracking, see if I can draw either a one drop or Zephyrus. A Zephyrus. But I will clear all this stuff. And then I can drop see a mat. And then I'll drop uh, six or prime. Now I am it's a pyroblast. Do I heal? Oh, he's, he doesn't have Kane Sun Fury anymore. So he has not. Got a way through this. 
I'll Divine Shield and Taunt. And then I'll set up Lethal. Should be able to give me six damage through nothing or through Atreus. Still, I have lethal if CMAT is still out there, and I have Bran. But even though I had such a strong start, and yet there's Altruis. He'll clear some stuff. Does he have another out? Uh, he has another outcast, and he has the twin slice. Uh, second slice. Come on. Simply <laughs> That was so crazy. He punched through a taunt Divine Shield six health. And gave me 11 damage. While on what? 6 mana, 7 mana? Ah, this. It's so difficult to beat the Demon Hunter with this deck. Alright. Against the Rogue. Of course we want the early game stuff, but we really do not want to keep a Desert Spear unless we have some early game. If you had like a 1 or 2 drop we could keep it. This is definitely a lot better. Gets me on the board in the beginning and I have initi an, uh, an initiative card. And now I just need to push in some chip damage here. And then on the next turn, I can choose to Orc Merchant and Hero Power. Mm. Ambush would be kind of bad, but not if I drop this one. Alright. So it's either bamboozle or dirty tricks. If you look at this, it's it's such a different matchup. Okay. What I will actually do, I think six is still okay. Or oh, maybe I should drop drop the diving griffin. Now oh, I can drop uh, get six of prime. This might be bamboozle. Then I don't want to hit into the lackey. All right, that's dirty tricks. Right now I'm not gonna trigger it because I don't have any spells. It'll either be a diving griffin in hero power or a big old whelp. That's the most likely scenarios. I 
rogues doesn't really no matter which archetype it is at the moment this is galakrond in some shape or form but I aren't really running a lot of healing Dragonbane, that's good for the next turn. Uh, we can do this and get rid of both of them. And do a little bit more chip damage. Dragon's Bane next turn is most likely the play. It's definitely the play. Because I have a two additional damage if I do hit the uh, the shield. This doesn't get all the mana through. I, I don't don't use all my mana on this one. I just need to win the 50-50. Nope. Then we will leave it. It gives me some more options because if he does trade into the 2 1 or does something with the Shield of Galagrond, then we also have a Dino Therm of Bran as lethal as well. Well, now it's not lethal. But I can put him to one. And have lethal for the next turn. turn right so push in the chip damage now it goes to seven and we're gonna be five and two with the desert spear in the next turn so we'll just do this just setting up lethal just compared to the last game against the demon hunter this is such a different game I have complete control over damage, uh, the cards, the opportunities, the sheer power of the stuff that I got. But the Tempo Demon Hunter, man, that's really the worst matchup. Next turn, I'll drop the Desert Spear, hit in. Hero power, and and that's not enough. He, need, he needed to finish his own minion. I know it's dirty tricks, but it won't affect the spell at all. So that's just it. Power. There we go. Such a different match altogether. It's uh, amazing how it plays so differently. Um, Rogue, that's still a tempo deck, um, but the tempo aggression that the Demon Hunter has, that's just really difficult for this deck to actually catch up with but if you do encounter more or less any other deck than demon hunter of, of course you will encounter demon hunter this is a very popular deck at the moment it's tier one but this deck really seems like it's a very good match against all the other decks 
you just have to, even with this deck being teched somewhat towards actually trying to manage the Demon Hunters, uh, it's going to be a tough match. But you just need to try and push through those and just focus on the other matches as you as you, you will encounter those. But yeah, if this uh, rocks your boat, then try it out. I I will leave a link to the deck in the description. Um, and if there's any comments or if you have a different feel for the deck than I have, uh, just let me know. That'll be great. Uh, if you like the content, just throw me a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out. And thanks for watching, guys.